Conquering Content Words Master Your English Stress Patterns Hello, language learners. Today, we're taking a deep dive into a crucial part of English pronunciation, sentence stress. More specifically, we'll talk about content words, their role, and how they impact the rhythm of English sentences. Remember, focusing on these elements can significantly improve both your listening comprehension and spoken English. Content words are the heart and soul of English sentences. They carry the most important meanings in a sentence. Typically, these are nouns, like dog, table, education, main verbs, like run, speak, think, adjectives, like happy, beautiful, interesting, adverbs, like quickly, always, often, question words, like who, what, where. Understanding content words is crucial for mastering sentence stress. In English, not all words in a sentence are pronounced with the same emphasis or stress. We tend to stress content words because they carry the key information or content in our sentences. By stressing these words, we make our sentences more understandable to our listeners. So, how do we stress these content words in sentences? Here are some tips. 1. Make them longer. Stretch the vowel sounds in the syllable you're stressing. 2. Make them louder. Increase your volume slightly on the stressed syllable. 3. Change the pitch. Usually, the pitch goes up on the stressed syllable. For instance, in the sentence, she's running in the park. The words running and park are stressed because they are the content words. They give us the key information in the sentence. The best way to master sentence stress is through practice. Here's a quick exercise for you. Try stressing the content words in the following sentences. 1. John bought a new car. 2. She's going to the library to study. 3. Children must always respect their elders. Remember, practice makes perfect. And that wraps up our discussion on content words and their role in sentence stress. Practice these tips, and soon you'll notice a considerable improvement in your English pronunciation. Keep practicing, and don't forget, every step you take brings you closer to mastering the English language. Until next time, happy learning!